Well, hello guys, Mr. G here with another video for the Cray 8. We're going to continue with element and compound. This is very short and then we're going to be building some molecules, okay? So, we learned previously how to draw atoms and we learned the different parts of atoms. Now, we're going to be learning about something else. Let's first of all classify matter. And here is how we classify matter. Matter is divided in two main groups. Those groups are mixtures and pure substances. Now, the mixtures have the characteristic that they can be separated by physical means. They have the characteristic that they can be separated by any physical mean. Now, what does it mean physical mean? Well, we're talking about filtration, we're talking about evaporation. Those are the physical means that we can actually write in here some of them. Talking about evaporation. Here, the, the examples, evaporation, filtration, sorting, and condensation. So that is the main thing of mixtures. Mixtures can be separated by any physical means. Now, mixtures can be divided in two groups that we are not going to learn now. You just need to know that there are two types of mixtures, homogeneous, homogeneous, and heterogeneous, okay? But you don't have to learn more for there for, for now. That will be for other grades, okay? So, let's repeat this one. Matter can be divided in mixture and pure substance. The mixtures can be separated by physical means but the pure substance are going to be something else. The pure substance is a substance that cannot be separated into simple components by physical means. Yeah, the pure substance cannot be separated. They cannot be separated using physical methods. Okay? There is another way of separate from a pure substance. Okay? Now, let's go back. Mixtures cannot be separated by physical means. Pure substance can be separated by physical means, and I make the a list of physical means. Now, the pure substance can be divided in two main groups there. First of all, the element. Okay? The element. And we learned about elements already before. Remember, elements were allocated in the periodic table, and it can be divided into metals, semi-metals, and not metal but we we already spoke about that now what elements elements are materials that consist of atoms of one kind only elements are materials that consist of atoms of only one kind and previously we learned how to draw atoms we learn how to draw atoms and here's one example here is beryllium remember you have the number of protons electrons and neutrons all right, now this is just a single atom, but sometimes, sometimes atoms combine to each other or with each other. Most of the time, in actual fact, atoms combine with each other. Now, if two or more atoms join together, they form a molecule. It's atoms join together, one, two or more atoms join together, they form a molecule. And we're going to be looking at this one just. Well, hello guys, here we are. We are going to be looking at that we just say about atoms and molecules. Okay, so remember we come here and we are going to make here atoms. And we're going to start with a simple example. We're going to make an atom of hydrogen. Remember, it has one a proton, one electron and one neutron. And there is hydrogen. Now, this is an atom of hydrogen. So what I have in my hands here and what I'm going to place there is an atom of hydrogen that can be represented with a block in this case but you can draw it in your book with a circle so let's go to this big corridor here that i have okay and now i'm going to place the one atom of hydrogen guys this is an isolated atom of um, hydrogen but remember what i just said there previously if you place two atoms together now you have one more than one atom then i don't have any more an atom of half a molecule and this is in actual fact hydrogen uh, gas this is how hydrogen gas look like 
okay so this is the one that this is a simple example we're going to look at more example right now remember now something important that you are going to learn like the hydrogen cannot have three so you cannot have for example three atoms of hydrogen this is wrong it's not possible to exist so it can only be two atoms of hydrogen and because they are atoms of the same kind then this is going to be called a diatomic molecule but we're going to be looking at more examples just now you saw how does the molecules work if the two molecules are done with the molecules done of the same atom or two atoms of the same molecule of the same element combined then something diatomic molecule form and we just mention it there so let's write it here down so we are here what is a diatomic molecule a diatomic molecule is when a two atoms of the same element combine in the example is the hydrogen you saw in the video of the game just now which is just here this is hydrogen hydrogen gas in your book you don't draw a circle like a square like that you draw rather circles so when i draw two atoms of hydrogen using a circle then this is hydrogen gas which is the same one as i have the on the uh, left side and this is a diatomic molecule guys i hope you understand you use this this model to make an atom then an atom when combined with another atom make a molecule if the two atoms that combine are the same atoms then that is called a diatomic molecule and you see it here it's a very important definition it's going to be in the test and the test is just coming guys it's very very important now what if the atoms are not the same well Yes, what if the atoms are not the same? So let's some, uh, go there quickly and see one simple example. So let's um, go here first and let's produce another atom. Let's produce, for example, um, chlorine. Let's produce chlorine and sodium. Okay, let's produce chlorine and sodium. We have hydrogen. We are not going to use it now. Now I want to make chlorine and sodium. Chlorine, the first thing we need to know is the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons. Now, chlorine has 17 of each of them. So, let's write here 17, 17, and 17. Remember, I told you sometimes they don't have the same number of neutrons. In this case, they have one more neutron. So, we are going to have here chlorine. And we have a lot of chlorine, so we don't have to worry about that. Now, in your case, guys, you always have the same number. It doesn't really give a big difference here now we're going to make sodium and we are going to have um, 11 11 protons you go to sodium in the periodic table 11 electrons and obvious 11 neutrons and we make sodium so to go there now and understand what we just speaking about here if we go here for example and we make sodium this is an atom of a chlorine all right this is an atom of chlorine just isolated there if we go here we have an atom of sodium just isolated there if i make it together for example there then boom this is a new substance called sodium chloride in other words is table salt this here guys is what we call table salt and if we come here for example i want to come when too far there and let's go here to this quickly machine there and we combine one chlorine with one sodium only one chlorine with one sodium as we have there then we have here table salt and table salt is what to use at home that is table salt here in this uh, case there there is a table salt remember this is a game so it does not look like a table salt but that is table salt so this is what i'm talking about guys i hope you understand what i'm saying here is the um, combination of chlorine and um, sodium this is table salt that is a diatomic molecule because there are two atoms of the same kind but this is an element this is a sorry this is a combination molecule of compounds 
because there are two different elements combined here okay but this is all next time we're going to be making more molecules few more molecules or maybe we can make it just now i don't know we'll see the time as we said now if the atoms that combine are not the same kind then a compound form okay so when you combine then atoms of different elements then you form a compound as you saw just now in the game when i make sodium chloride now there are important things you need to know first compound formed by chemical reaction they just not form they just not form so easily so they need something called a chemical reaction that you're going to learn later on about they are the combination of two or more two or more different elements important they are different elements here previously they are the same element and this is called a diatomic molecule you see two hydrogens here they are different elements you can see top here you can see here chlorine and here you can see sodium when they combine they form sodium chloride which is the new compound here and sodium chloride is in actual fact table salt so that is important now there's other important thing you need to know about compounds the atoms in a compound are held together by chemical bonding we'll learn about that later on for now you just have to learn that they have chemical bond that keep them together the atoms are combined in a fixed ratio and the compound have different properties from the elements that make up the compound and we're going to stop here guys we're going to stop here next time we're just going to make a small very small video which uh, we're going to be making some other compounds in the game and um, that is all i hope it helped i hope you understand i hope you uh, enjoy thumb up write comments subscribe for the channel i'll see you next time mr g here